Hey, hey, this is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 20th of January. James Spann here. Stormy weather returning to Alabama and the Deep South. Two very significant systems on the way, and the first one is knocking on the door. Let's look outside early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Uh, no, that is not a fire. That is some steam. That's the campus of Auburn University, as seen from our sky cam down in Lee County. And that is one of the colder spots in the state. They're actually down in the uh, 30s down there this morning. There's the Inverness Sky Cam back in the Birmingham Metro. That's from the Wingate Inn overlooking Highway 280. Not too many people out there early this morning. And a look at downtown Columbus, Mississippi from our Sky Cam over in Lowndes County just across the state line. Well, there you go. Those uh, waves are lined up like boxcars back off to the west and uh, we'll be dealing with uh, unsettled weather in the days ahead. Yeah, you can see that cold pocket down there in east central Alabama. Alexander City at 37. Anniston sitting at 40. But uh, Birmingham is at 51. And as the uh, clouds thicken, uh, south wind kicks in. We'll see temperatures back up in the 60s today. And certainly not as bright as yesterday with the clouds around. There's the radar. It is raining this morning in Memphis, Jackson, Tennessee, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And a few showers down into uh, North Mississippi. We think we'll see some rain at times today, but the bigger event will be tonight. Here's our watch warning map. The National Weather Service in Jackson has put up a flash flood watch for many of their uh, counties in central Mississippi. Uh, really uh, north of Interstate 20, south of US 82. Up north, ice storm warnings for parts of Iowa and Nebraska. Freezing rain advisories elsewhere, and boy, the, the, the west is just crazy. Had tornado warnings yesterday for Los Angeles, Orange, and San Diego counties. That doesn't happen a lot. Of course, it does in an El Nino year, which is what we have going on. And heavy mountain snows, uh, just incredible out there. There's the QPF chart, and again, it's awfully messy. This is valid through uh, Sunday evening at 7. You can see the mess out west. QPF bullseye north of Phoenix at almost 9 inches of precipitation there. And around here, uh, now this takes into account two storms, the midweek storm and the Sunday storm. And between the two, we could see four inches of rain here. And that will certainly knock out our two-and-a-half-inch rain deficiency for 2010. What about severe weather? Here's our risk for today, a slight risk for parts of West Alabama. The risk is south of a line from Muscle Shoals, really west of a line from Muscle Shoals to Montgomery to Andalusia. And this would include uh, uh, Tuscaloosa, Brent, Greensboro, Demopolis, Utah, and all the way down to Mobile and Baldwin counties. All of Mississippi, all of Louisiana in this risk. Pretty good chunk of Arkansas and eastern Texas. The probabilities are highest down south. That's where the instability will be best. I don't think it's a major threat. Now, there's just hardly any surface-based instability up here tonight. The dynamics are good. Thermodynamics are horrible. You know that story for these January deals. But what do you do? You expect the unexpected when it comes to storms. So we'll watch that radar carefully tonight. Heavy rain, I think, will be the main problem. Now, this is interesting. Tomorrow, we've got a slight risk down to the southeast for places like Tallahassee and Jacksonville and Valdosta. But look at the slight risk over North Alabama. That is for the possibility of a... Another batch of storms redeveloping tomorrow afternoon. The, the first batch will be ending in the morning. The sun breaks out, and those afternoon storms, if they form, and that's an if, could pack a punch. And, and we'll talk about that in modeling. And then the uh, day four through eight outlook, day four is Saturday, a risk of severe weather uh, over much of Mississippi into West Alabama, and day five, which is Sunday, a uh, pretty good chunk of the state, really from just north of Birmingham south, in a severe weather risk, and we'll be much more specific with that once we get our midweek system out of the way. This is the uh, 06 GFS at noon today. You see that southern branch, very active, very energetic. Down below that, the uh, model kind of suggesting the uh, better rains off to the uh, uh, west perhaps at noon, but let's get down and get uh, high res, what do you say? This is the RPM, the Rapid Precision Mesoscale model at noon today. And this is suggesting the uh, better rains at midday today will be over north Alabama, north of a line from uh, about Vernon to Blunt Springs to Gadsden, and a few showers down south. So uh, it will rain today in various parts of the state, maybe not everywhere, but 
Look at tonight at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, if this is right, it'll be raining heavily over Birmingham, and uh, uh, that's when the rain should be good and widespread. There could be some thunder involved. We'll watch that, but again, I think the severe weather threat is fairly minimal tonight. Now, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe still some rain going on here, the bulk of the heavier rain shifting off to the east. This is noon tomorrow, and you see the deal. The uh, big MCS is well off to the east, and you can see those showers developing over north Alabama. And uh, there's a look at 2 o'clock, and it seems like the better risk would be from Birmingham north if this guidance is right. And again, this is 2 o'clock tomorrow, and look at the instability at about the same time. In fact, this is the same time, 2 o'clock. Uh, the, the guidance suggesting the Cape values could be up to 1,000 joules. So we'll be watching for redevelopment tomorrow afternoon. Then at 6 o'clock, the model has everything east of here. So this run a little faster. But you get the idea. The, the big batch of rain and storms tonight ending in the morning, maybe some midday sun and then a chance of afternoon storms, and those could be strong to severe. All right, Friday, uh, that system is out of here. We're in between Saturday. Boy, look at the system over the Plain States at 988 millibar low near Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, the Gulf wide open. Looks like a breezy and mild day, but what looks like Saturday will stay dry. Then late Saturday night and Sunday, that stuff comes in here. Here's a look at Sunday. There's your upper trough. And this is at noon. This run a little faster with this thing. It's got the storms clearing us at noon Sunday, suggesting the biggest issue might be, say, midnight Saturday night until 9 o'clock Sunday morning. And remember, we're, this will change again. We, we will get very focused on this once we get this midweek system out of here. But again, with that, we'll have the dual threat of heavy rain and strong, maybe severe storms uh, late in the weekend. And then Monday turns colder. Look at the 540 line down in Montgomery. Maybe a few flurries north of us up in Tennessee. There's the upper trough. Uh, that's pretty deep. And uh, that's right. We will not get out of the 40s on Monday. And then Tuesday, we start to moderate the high probably in the low 50s. Uh, this is no Arctic blast like earlier this month, but it'll feel much colder than the air this week. Uh, Wednesday of next week, dry and pleasant. Uh, end of next week, this October the 29th, some hint of rain returning. Not much. No major system here. Uh, the next biggie is out there around Groundhog's Day. This is the 2nd of February. Uh, not negative tilt short wave, surface low near Nashville, wet. And on the 4th, uh, no real Arctic connection. And you know the deal. We've seen some runs with it, some runs without it. Down below that, it's cold, but not severely cold. We still believe we will see a trend toward much colder weather in uh, February, but again, it's too early to be specific on that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And uh, the next video here by 3.30 today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.